Incremental greetings. Let's continue the Superman course, the pleasurable expansion. Now we start with concepts. Rem remember the yellow bulb that you may have seen, like this one here, this other one, web course, Melanie Barnett, and so on. One of the four element types. We had the topics, the items, the tasks, and the concepts. Contents are useful in many ways especially for incremental reading. Let's first start with the concept registry. Okay, okay. And this concept, funny enough, is still has still the the topic, okay? Concepts. It's it's Okay. Yeah. So So remember that in the main menu, the shared submenu includes of the, all of the registries and happens to be that the concepts registry is the very first one. You have to learn how to fiddle with concepts. It's, it's like I'm... That is a concept registry and he has only two concepts. Now we can see that in his collection because he's knowledge three it's very uh, small. It's this one and this one. So you will see all of the concept registry members listed here with those properties. I'm still not really teaching you how to learn inside SuperMemo because I think it's so trivial, the process, but this is one of the most important things, concepts. Everything revolves around concepts. Even even if you don't think so, even if you think that... By the way, before Super Memo had the concepts, so you, do, you did incremental loading with no concepts, there were categories, and then the evolution of categories are concepts. Then we have worked with templates. You can auto-apply templates. Item template and topic, and task as well. You can set default priority. We will see this... Uh, in the future, then those checkboxes to auto apply the templates, the topic and the item. There's no one for the tasks. And then we have some settings about the hook branch and the hook element that we will see next. And let me share my collection. Now I don't have many concepts. Could be the case that when you open the window, it looks like that. It's, hey, yeah, yeah, where are the checkboxes? So you need to click here and drop below and now you see those boxes it's a common recurrence the other regular thing that happens is hey how come i have nine elements i only see one yeah because super memo uh, selects the one selected and if it happens to be the last one or kind of the end you need to scroll like this and as a registry you have all of this menu the tools same thing Sort by frequency, by size, and all of that. And the most high yield functionalities in the menu. And from here, you can create if you want, you can rename, and so on. There's one limitation, for instance, that, hey, I want to see all of the elements inside business and management. Let me list that. It's just itself. We will see what you can do instead. 
There are many, I will only focus on one thing, that is, I think, the most important. Hey, I want to filter the elements that are using this concept, but I'm only getting this concept itself. Then, what you can do is click the concept you want, now do a subset, now we have a concept registry subset with just this member, and now click this. Browse all elements using the currently selected registry subset. Since the subset is just itself, it's just this concept. And it, it's still the same thing. No worries. What you can do instead is click here, this I, go to the, con go to the concept element. Or go to here. And here it is. And now I can open this on the browser. By the way, that doesn't mean that all of the elements here will have this concept. Not necessarily. Depends how you use Super Memo. And in this particular case, let me double check that. Actually, from the 2,250 elements, 386 didn't have this concept applied. So, remember, not because it's hierarchy down of this element means has this concept being applied. We will see how this is relevant, the flows, how to set the concepts and all of that in the upcoming videos. For now, that's enough for the introduction. See you in the next video.